Hi, this is April with Holistic Horseworks, and this is all the amazing information that I want to share with you today. In this episode, April explains her accredited program, Equine Musculoskeletal Unwinding. She also talks about how it is a very easy and personalized learning experience, even when you're studying at home or getting guidance from a distance reading. But if you prefer, she provides details to host a hands-on clinic. And last, she shares a fun way to spoil your horse. The name of your course is Equine Musculoskeletal Unwinding. What does that mean? The reason I named it Musculoskeletal Unwinding is so it actually explains it's the muscles and the skeleton and the muscle and spasm pulls the bone out of alignment. So the masseuse works on the tight muscle, but doesn't ask why is this muscle over tight? The chiropractor just whams the bone and doesn't say why is the bone out? Right. So we use positional myofascial releases to help the skeleton realign itself. You know, and when the vet is adjusting the spine, there is a process where I just lift all the ribs and hold and the whole spine realigns. But the other thing I do is I'm really good at finding patterns in the body. So while I'm not a chiropractor, I can look at the structure and form and tell you what can and can't work correctly. So, you know, by the time a horse is lame on left front and they're bobbing their head, I tell people they're three-legged lame. Mm -hmm. You know, so by the time you have, they've compensated in so many different areas and you can look at the musculature of the horse and the tight groin and how the hooves are. And I can tell you the whole story of what's going on in the horse and nobody else can. Mm -hmm. So, you know, your inside right heels crushed. Okay. So he's having to bring the right hind under farther to pick up for a left lead canner and, and that ilium ischium turn so that stifle is going to have issues and that hip is two to three inches back of the other one that's going to be your string halt so everything has a reason mm -hmm. but all the vet says let's inject the joint yep well great but having had steroid shots in my shoulder and hip it you just keep using it and, and then it's worse and then you have surgery so right it doesn't fix anything Right. So there's always a reason and we need to start looking for the reason. Reasons. Why? What's the reason my horse is lame? What do your students say about the program? So when I was on uh, Big Island, Hawaii, teaching a class and a lady had come, she's like, you know, I've heard about you. And she took one, two, three in a row. And she's like, it just can't be this easy. She says, I spent a lot of money I do professional equine body work and I beat up my body to get these releases that this 70 year old woman is doing so easily. So for three classes, she goes, it just can't be this easy. I'm like, why? Cause you were taught it had to be harder. Mm -hmm. You're manipulating a 1200 pound animal. So I use the horse's body to get some of their own releases. Right now, people are limiting their activities and where they go, but you offer a program as a study at home option, and it has a very personalized learning experience in it. How, how do you do that? On the home study program, they can submit five case studies, one at a time, with before and after pictures, everything they worked on the horse, and I let them know what they missed, and we go over how they're doing the move. Yeah, so the, it's not just a little video clip. Yeah. So the home site isn't just, here's the booklet and you can watch the videos and have fun. It, there's my, there's so <laughs> much more. Money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's so much more follow-up that and access to you and your expertise. Well, and empowering them. So, okay, this is the fourth yeah. case study and you're still not getting Atlas and access release. So send me a video. Yeah. Okay. Well, you, you don't have your thumb in the right place and you're not holding the horse's head right. And I don't know of any other home programs that do that, where you can do that. So, you know, if you're trying to learn massage at home. How can you tell if you massaged a muscle? You know, but I can tell you that if you haven't released the first rib under right shoulder, you're still not going to want to take right lead counter. Tell me a little bit more about how um, the distance reading starts, because that seems to be a very unique um, offering that you provide that you don't see a lot of other people doing, which is wonderful because it's my horse. It's my, <laughs> my experiences, not just, you know, a generic book that on page 26, it says, this is what you do. 
So, I mean, I was that person at home. Okay, my horse was grade two lame. I'm giving a butte. I don't know where it is. The vet says $400 to tell me what it is. And oh, look, $350. I could go buy something that shows me how to fix it and gives me a distance reading of what exactly is going on on my horse. So when they send in the left and right side pictures, and I do do dogs and people too. Um, I scan the horse's body, um, what bones need releasing using our soft touch method. We are actually releasing like um, ribs that actually release the spine. So we don't do any physical manipulations, but everything is back in alignment when we're done. Um, we go over bacterial and viral issues, um, environmental, water source, and even the cranial bones. So the horses that have the weepy eye or the uveitis on the left side, those will be all the cranial bones that are jammed on the left side. So then people know to pay more attention to that. So it's nice. And then they get that affirmation when they do it all say, well, you miss, you need a little more work on the axis. You need a little more work on ribs, 10, 11. You can quite get that lift and separate move. And they're like, oh yeah, I didn't think I did. So it's a nice affirmation mm -hmm. and the left hoof, you know, so that's your high, low syndrome. If you have first rib out under right shoulder, that's going to be your high hoof. And the other one's going to be your low heel with your bigger hoof because that's a load bearing. So the right shoulder can't move correctly. So the left front is gonna work twice as hard. The left front's gonna have the tendon or suspensory strain. The left rear is gonna have the tendon and suspensory strain, but what started it, the right front isn't gonna have any issues. Yeah, because <laughs> they do first rib on people too. Right, because the horse is protecting that because it was out of, out of whack from the beginning. Well, if you, I have a skeleton picture and right. it's not that the horse can actually feel it. Just like most people have first rib tipped up at well, as well. It's just that the shoulder isn't moving correctly. Oh. So your rhomboid and trapezius muscles come uh, to lift the shoulder and bring it through on that force repetitive movement. And then that shortens the neck and you're like, I could have swore I bought a long neck short back horse, but now I have a short neck long back horse because the psoas is in spasm and then your hocks are going to be so close together. So this is not the horse I bought, you know, last year, but that's what the muscles are doing to the body. The student you spoke of was already a professional are your courses for DIY people like myself or are they also for professionals? So in empowering people and helping them at home, I have hundreds of people that have gone on to professions of actually doing this. And that's part of why I push through um, the accreditation on equine musculoskeletal unwinding and all the paperwork that that took was to give all of my students more credentials and to say they're actually certified in something because you have to be the originator of the move mm -hmm. to certify someone. So a lot of classes are giving out certificates saying that you're certified. Oh yeah, I took a weekend massage class and now I'm an equine massage therapist mm -hmm. in two days. No, mm -hmm. you have a certificate of completion. So now we're actually going to be able to say that we can certify them in it. They can use the logos and the seals. They can get Great. insurance through it. So it's just this whole huge support for my 10 instructors that teach globally and all the women that we empower and all the people that have taken past classes can now come forward and, you know, say that they're accredited as well. So this has been a huge big thing for 2021. Can you talk a little bit about the options you offer for in-person courses? Yeah, and we're always looking for people that want to host clinics, small barns, six people. So if you would like to get the $800 three-day class for free, all you have to do is watch my video on YouTube on what it takes to host a clinic and how easy it is. Wonderful. That sounds great. And how, how many days is the uh, hands-on clinic? Uh, three days, nine to five. It's usually a Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and we teach them in New Zealand, Australia, all through Europe, US and Canada, soon South Africa. Wonderful. What's a fun way to spoil your horse? Oh, you got to get a vacuum. Got to vacuum the horse. Get the Bissell dog grooming atta attachment and you get a shop vac for $25 and the horses love to be yeah. vacuumed. They, they do. do. <laughs> <laughs> no, they... 
So everyone, thank you for being here with us for now. You can contact April with any concerns you may be having with your horse. April at holistichorseworks.com. I always love hearing from you guys. And please check out all the free information on my YouTube channel, Holistic Horseworks, as well as my free ebook at horseacademy101.com and share that with all your friends, please, so that we can help more horses everywhere. Looking forward to sharing more information with you in future. Thank you for being here.